Hi, Bernadine. Welcome. Hi, Erica. Just stirring my wax before we get started. Welcome, everyone. Happy Thursday, almost Friday, almost the weekend. Great. <clears throat> I'm just popping off quickly to reheat my wax. I'll be back in a second. Cool. Okay. Um, welcome everyone to another session with me. My name is Jenna. And today I'm going to be using Mandy's Film Wax to tackle these uh, lockdown legs that have been uh, growing for quite a while now. Um, because it's winter uh, and I'm often wearing, well all of us are often wearing long pants, we don't really feel the need to wax anymore or shave or anything like that. But I just really like to feel clean um, on my legs and like as much as sometimes I procrastinate doing it, when I have done it, it's really great and I feel amazing. So, <clears throat> the um, just a heads up, the Mandy's team will be online as always to answer any questions that you may have. So please feel free to pop down um, in the comment section below here and say hi and just ask any questions, leave any comments, we would love to hear from you. Um, so the product that I'm gonna be using today is Mandy's Film Wax. Oh, I don't know if you can see it's a bit bright. Um, and it comes in a beautiful pink tub like this. And the wax itself is an amazing like metallic pink color. So it really feels like a nice princess pamper session. Um, <clears throat> and then it also comes with two after wax treatments <clears throat> and um, a little leaflet. And I would really recommend just reading this um, beforehand. I know sometimes these things ramble on and on, but this one's really good um, for like giving you times of how long to put this in the microwave and etc, etc, um, just so that you don't burn yourself or you don't hurt yourself while you're using it. Um, so I've heated up a full tub and I heated it up for about just, so I heated it up for 90 seconds at first and then I stirred it for a bit and it still wasn't all heated, so I heated it a little bit more. But it all depends on the weather that you're having. It all depends on a lot of things, really. So my wax at the moment is starting to get, it's nice and runny. It's probably still a little bit too runny to use at the moment. So I'm just stirring it um, just to thicken it up a little bit. Um, but I don't know if you can see this situation that I have going on on my legs. Um, they are quite hairy but um i have been waxing for uh, ever since i could start like so when i was about 13 um i started waxing my legs <clears throat> so i've never actually shaved them um well, i've shaved them a couple times but i've always been waxing so i'm lucky that my leg hairs themselves are quite thin and they're quite sparse um and i've just really enjoyed this lockdown teaching myself how to wax with a home product because it's um actually quite fun to try and teach yourself a new trick and um obviously last night we heard that beauty salons could open again um but obviously we don't know when that's actually going to happen and we still need to maintain our leg hairs and the rest all the rest of it so 
I for one am definitely going to carry on using my at home um, treatments also because it's more cost effective and less of a hassle to go out and do it yourself. I mean, and not have it done yourself. <laughs> okay, so I think my wax is just about ready. So what I'm going to do is I like to go in small sections first. So I'm going to take a little bit of wax and I'm going to test it first on my, um, on my wrist just to just to see and make sure that it's the right temperature so i'm just going to test like a little section here and i'm just going to tap it it's quite warm here today so it might take a little while to dry but i'm just going to tap it and then flick it up yeah see we know it's ready so you can do it in big sections on your legs if you want, but um, I don't really like to do that. I like to do small se smaller sections at a time. Um, and also just some pre-wax um, pre tips. Um, if you can exfoliate your legs the night before or the morning before, um, it would really help to just get your pores nice and open. And then also if you um, do wear cream on your legs, maybe don't put cream on for that day. So let's just see what's going on here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go for it on my legs quick. Just a small section at first. I don't know if you can see. Just a small section. And I'm applying it in the direction of the hair growth, so downwards. And it, as you can see, a very small patch just to begin with, just to get myself comfortable with it. And I'm going to pat it down. You can do multiple patches at a time if you want, um, but I prefer to do one at a time. And then I'm just going to, when I feel that it's ready, I'm just going to flick it up like this and pull. And then here, I'm going to move you down here just to see Sorry, the sun, <laughs> the sun is in my face here. Let me just move you quickly. There we go. Oopsies, sorry. So just to get a little bit of better lighting here, I don't know if you can see the hairs have come off really nicely. So let's try another strip. And I always just push it down like this, a thin layer first, and then you can smooth it over. See, that's when you know it's not ready yet, because <laughs> I tapped it too soon, but you need to wait for it to dry. It's a fun little break from the meetings or the studying or something and it just gets me feeling nice and fresh afterwards so here i'm gonna try see if this is ready it is quite warm here today so it is taking a little bit of time there we go wow you can literally see like the hair follicles on there uh not sure if you can see yeah um and i like to do it from the bottom up <laughs> um so around my ankles first and then work my way up the leg but you can do it kind of however makes you feel comfortable also as i said you can put two pieces on at a time and you can make them um as big or as small as you like. I just prefer the smaller pieces because they're more manageable. If you have a fan and it's hot, uh, you can put the fan on just to speed the process up a little. And then always flick up from the bottom oopsie and pull. So 
see this one wasn't ready, so I went too soon. Oops. So I'm just gonna flick it up from here. There we go. See this one I might have made a bit too thin at the bottom. So you just have to find a piece where you can flick it up and pull. Alternatively, because it's too thin here, I'm gonna take some more wax and I'm just gonna put another layer over it to make it thicker and easier to grip when I rip it off. Just a little bit of a thicker piece. Also, this wax is such a beautiful color. Um, it goes like Lumo pink and like, I don't want to say glittery, maybe metallic um, on your leg, which is great. Um, it's just like a fun, a fun color and it smells really nice as well. Um, it's got soothing and fragrant geranium oil in it, which is great. And bearing in mind, I'm using the film wax that is for the legs and body. So um, this isn't, so this is just for legs. You can use it on your legs. You can use it on your arms. Um, just make sure that you um, read the package instructions just to see, be clear on where you can put it. Okay, so this piece is nice and thick now. So I'm just going to peel that off. There we go. Cool, I'm just gonna carry on with this and work my way up my leg. Um, but just some tips about after wax treatment. Um, so as I said before, the, um, the package comes with an after wax treatment, which is a nice moisturizing cream. Um, and this is what is nice to dissolve the, um, the wax residue that's left on you afterwards. Cause naturally there's gonna be some pieces that are left on here. Ooh. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. There are gonna be some pieces that are left on your leg. So um, a moisturizer um, cream will help with that and they'll also help with the redness. So um, as I said, I've been waxing for years and years and my legs will always have red spots on them after I wax, it's just a normal thing. Um, but it usually does go away within a couple hours, which is great. Um, and then as I said before, it's nice to, um, do some nice moisturization, exfoliation before moisturization, moisturization afterwards. Um, and then also just uh, as a tip, I would avoid having a very hot shower right after you wax, just cause that kind of tends to aggravate the redness sometimes. Um, so to say thank you for watching us live um, until the end, Mandy's has a great deal for the Facebook live fans. So we'll be giving away free products to five lucky Facebook Live fans um, and along with a gorgeous Mandy's mask. So that'll be great to use your mask while you're doing your waxing as well. Um, to stand a chance to win, please send your details to the email address in the comments box below. It is pinned there, um, marketing at leekem.co.za. Um, and also anyone who buys our Mandy's